what's up everybody it's your girl candy girl so happy to be coming to you right now because that means that my power has been restored in the name of jesus let me tell y'all first of all we had a really powerful windstorm a couple of days ago actually this was last saturday and this is friday um the winds were about 94 miles per hour some people are saying 70 some people are saying 90 some people are saying 100 i'm gonna go in the middle and say it was 90. um there are huge trees that are just being pulled out of the center of the earth the roots are just long and deep and the whole entire tree like fell on people's houses and in the middle of the road and on top of people's cars it's a mess so i was out of power for a couple of days and when i say a couple of days i mean like four days i had to throw out all my food i didn't have any tv i didn't have any youtube i didn't have any internet i was just kind of like out of my mind no air conditioning i live in memphis it's like 90 something degrees and I did not have a cool breeze to save my life while I was going to sleep. So I have been so sleep deprived. But anyway, y'all, if you didn't know from my previous video, I will only be uploading videos over the weekend if I can get it out sooner because something has really spurred my interest or inspired me to say something, then I definitely will. But otherwise, I'm pretty much tired on Thursdays and I really just don't want to be uploading nothing and recording nothing during the week so if I can get it done on the weekend I would be much more enthusiastic for you much more interesting and probably a little bit more like researched and prepared because I would really like this channel to be based off of you know sociological or academic studies off of history and also just my personal experience um also i'll be doing some things that are just purely based off of my opinion so it's just better when you have more time to really sit and collect your thoughts and research and all that good stuff um today i am going to be talking to you all about um, another aspect of dating in 2017 that is kind of like a source of frustration for me and I would honestly love to hear you guys' opinion. Child, I have went off on this extremely long tangent and it has not been recording. I am almost just a little bit mad. <sighs> okay, so let me try to <laughs> let me try to start off again where I left off. At least where I think I left off. So my issue with dating these days is because of modern technology we can do online dating we can text message all day long and we never really feel the pressure or the need to take things to a more personal level like it used to be and it's hard for me to insist upon certain things because i don't want to turn somebody off or make them think that I'm not approachable or that I'm rushing things or pushing them outside of their comfort zone because a lot of people are afraid of rejection and so maybe it's safer for them to just text message when they can or you know um, try to feel you out in some kind of informal means but to me that's doing a disservice for the relationship that we're trying to build so for example you might you know be bored and you want to do online dating right i've done that i'm currently doing that just to be honest with you and one thing that is really frustrating for me is that a lot of these guys that i'm meeting all they have to do is just say hey and they expect that to be enough you know what i'm saying and so um and then because of the fact that you can kind of like meet 10 different women within an hour it's much more likely that they're just going to say hey instead of them having to approach you at an event or at church or maybe at work on the street wherever that you know it may be they have to actually approach you and have some kind of you know quirky or or quirky or you know, unique kind of pickup line for lack of better words. And so it takes the personality out of the entire thing. And you really can't establish a meaningful connection from Rip, right? Um, also, 
then they want to message you on whatever app it is for a long time then they want to sit and have um, long texting conversations or text for a prolonged period of time before actually picking up the phone and holding an actual conversation with you. And then they want to sit on the phone and hold a conversation with you for comp some weeks and then, you know, not really ask you out on a date. And while I would say that, okay, maybe that guy's just not as into you as somebody else who genuinely has true intentions for a meaningful relationship. And maybe, you know, you need to just try to find that person that is willing to open up and to make the effort. Well, while that may be the case, I think because of modern technology, you know, people, especially men, let's just put it that way, they are losing the desire or the need to return back to the basics and to what everybody knows in a traditional sense. And so even though they might have some genuine intentions on a committed relationship, because of just how our culture has changed, um, that's no longer something that is the norm. You know, the norm is for it to be purely electronic for a long time and it's just so frustrating okay so that's number one and then to go further because things go 10 times slower because of modern technology and you not really just going out with that person seeing if you click seeing if you have chemistry seeing if you're actually attracted to the whole package then you don't really know what their intentions are because it's all been so relaxed and informal. And so for women, we already know that it's kind of taboo to ask the person, where is this going? What are you looking for? So, you know, I mean, it it just gets that much more confusing in, in other words. And you know, another person had, like one of my friends on Facebook had posted a question on Facebook and this is, um, you know, definitely related to what I'm talking about. And the question was, when do you think it's appropriate to ask a guy, where is this going? Where, what are your intentions for our friendship or budding relationship? What do you see coming of this? I'm of the opinion that you should never ask that question. I don't care if you've been dating this person for four months and you haven't gotten a commitment out of it. You, as a woman, are supposed to follow and the man is supposed to lead. So you taking the lead on having such a very important conversation really is, um, you know, off-putting to men as far as my experience has been. And if you've waited four months and have had no hint or suggestion of any kind of commitment in the near future, it's more than likely that he doesn't want a commitment with you. So the fact that you even have to ask is a bad sign to begin with. You know what I'm saying? But I really like to know the men's perspective on that. First of all, how do you, you know suggest a more traditional approach to a very modern twist on dating as far as online dating. Yes, you might make that introduction online, but how do you as a woman move it along so that we can actually meet in person and get the chemistry flowing or end it while we're all still ahead and haven't wasted our precious time and finger muscles. And then also How do you begin or when do you or should you even begin conversations about where is this going or should you allow the man to take the lead and let this be entirely their idea? And how would you feel if a woman were to initiate that conversation? Um, I would really like to know you guys' honest opinions because as I have tried to answer the question. In the end of the day, I am a single female. So I guess my advice really doesn't count for much. So y'all let me know what y'all um, perspectives are, opinions are in the comments. I would really appreciate it, y'all. Until next time, love and blessings.